I study adaptive echolocation in both bats and dolphins. And echolocation is basically using sound instead of vision to navigate and find objects. Inside Science TV. Bottlenose dolphins are a classic animal that's used to do really controlled studies on echolocation. And the reason why is they're uh, easy to train and they uh, are very common in laboratory environments. My latest project that I presented here at the Acoustical Society of America was a project looking at how bottlenose dolphins direct their sonar signals away from the target that they're interested in and that actually helps them um, get more information about where that target is located. The dolphin sonar sound is like a click or a snap uh, and it has a wide range of frequencies coming through. Bats and dolphins are both the, the natural echolocating animals. This experiment was conducted uh, in partnership with Paul Noctegal at the University of Hawaii. And this was at the Marine Mammal Facility, which is located in Kaneohe Bay. And it was a really fun experiment because the uh, dolphin was um, simply echolocating. It was doing what we would consider a fairly passive task. And we were non-invasively uh, recording the echolocation signals when it was echolocating onto an object in the water. And then after we recorded the echolocation signals, the dolphin would get a, a juicy fish as a reward for giving us what we wanted. People study dolphins, they assume the, the direction where the beam is going is what the animal is paying attention to. And this raised the kind of interesting counterintuitive possibility that the thing they're most interested in is not the thing they seem to be looking at with the sonar, but the thing that's sort of next to where they're looking. I like to use the analogy that it's like us in vision. If you're looking at night at, a, a, say, a faint star, you kind of look slightly away from the object, and that's actually giving you more information about being able to see that star. So to relate that back to the dolphins, they're actually doing that. They're pointing their sound beam away from the object, and that's giving them more information back. It's like imagining you're listening to an orchestra as you move away from the main location, the high frequency instruments like the piccolos and the violins gradually get filtered out until you're left with only the tubas and the double basses way over here on the side. If you're trying to decide what direction the sound came from based on what frequencies are present, the animals would have a sweet spot based on the place where it changes the most. So basically these dolphins, we, we joke that they're the ultimate mathematicians because they're doing a strategy that analytically is, is the most optimal strategy. Mankind has so much to learn about our own technological sonar from studying the animals. These animals have, have, have it figured out and they've had it figured out for millions of years. And so by studying these animals and understanding how they're able to use their echolocation to achieve these high levels of performance, we can better refine our own sonar devices from you know, sensors on cars to finding objects in the ocean. We can refine our own technology and make it better and cheaper. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.